Okay, I decided to do a little bit different of a video this time. Um, this I'm going to show off just more of an idea that I'm working on as opposed to something that's completed. So this is a bi-stable uh, compliant mechanism. So bi-stable switch. It can only be in that state or that state. You can't really stop it in between. So just like an on-off switch that you'd see on the wall. And actually I changed this dimension to be the same size as a decor style switch. These are really cool. Um, I'll link to a video uh, by Veritasium uh, who went over this and other compliant mechanisms. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, but what I did was I ex then extruded that out to this and I've got my measurements just a little bit off, but <clears throat> the idea is, is the Y sensor would go in there. I'm not gonna push it all the way in because then it, it the measurements off. And I had a spot for the magnet back here, but that was a little bit off. Um, but basically that magnet would be back here the sensor would be in here, and when you push it forward, it would stop up in the, the on position, and then you could click it to the off position, and you can see the light blinking to show that it is changing state. So yeah, that's that's one of my ideas um, that I'm working on. Uh, the problem is I broke this one. Um, I think that the material um, I'm using PLA is just a little too brittle. Uh, there's a few other type of filaments that I was thinking about buying and trying. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the idea behind this. Um, and I, after I did this one and I kind of saw the concept work, I decided to try a slightly different idea. Um, and this is just the start of it, just to get the measurements right. But basically a standard uh, switch um, and not the decor style. I don't, know, I don't exactly know what it's called. Um, but that this portion right here, right here would be like this, instead of having the decor, it would, you'd stick the magnet into here. And then I would take the sensor and embed it into, um, the back. It's, it's a little bit not as ideal. And, and my reasoning is because you have to change the battery. So in order to uh, change the battery in this when it dies, you would have to, if I see, I was thinking about doing a couple different designs like this. One would be just like a table mount thing, which is just like a box with the switch. And that wouldn't be too hard. You just kind of like pop it open and, and slide out the, the sensor and change the, the magnet. The other one would be actually having screw spots, just like a standard uh, switch. And so you could then put it in your your uh, wall <clears throat> with your other switches. You just take out this, the regular switch, you could wire it so that it's just an always on position, and then you could put this in its place. Um, so the, the downside is that in order to change the battery in this style, you would have to uh, take that faceplate off, take the switch out, and then take this out, unless I could find a way to um, embed it, uh, like kind of on the side of the switch, which might, which might be possible, um, but I doubt it though, because, well, maybe. I don't know, I gotta play around with it, that's the point. Um, but yeah, that's that's my idea. I've, I've got a few other ideas uh, coming. Um, I kinda wanna change the, the style of my videos for the most part. I mean, occasionally I'll still do the ones where I finish stuff. Um, hopefully, but I don't, I don't really care about, um, selling things on Etsy and shipping stuff. It, it's just kind of stressful, honestly. And I, I just like sharing my ideas. Um, uh, if somebody wanted to like license my designs, I guess that would be, uh, better in that I wouldn't have to deal with that kind of stuff. Not, um, but this, this is what, uh, I've been working on. Um, I've got other ideas including um, uh, stuff with the motion detector. Um, just, I mean, really simple stuff, like a bracket to stick in the corner and stuff, but it's a little bit different. So looking forward to that too. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments about uh, what you guys think, what you think my video should be like. Um, I I don't know, I'm not really, I don't really care necessarily even be a big YouTuber. I just, I just wanna share my stuff. So let me know, thanks.